our American way of life. Isn't it grand? Peace, freedom, and bacon and eggs. Seems perfect. But what if it's not? Friends, your future may not be as secure as you think. Where will you be when the atomic bombs fall? You can secure your family's future by reserving a spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault from vault -Tec. That's right, Bob. Act now, and your family can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. And Doris, the vault will have all the amenities of your modern-day home. And it's attractive. And Sally, in the vault, you might meet that special someone just as you would on the surface. And in a few short years, you and your fellow vault dwellers will repopulate our great country. And Billy, you'll have lots of swell kids to play with. Reserve your family spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault today. Sign up now and prepare for the future. Welcome back to Fallout 3. So we just got our quest. We're supposed to go look for Meyer Lurks. We have to put this thing in their nest, and we also have to not kill any of them. This one can get tricky. Um, I have a bunch of scrap that I can sell to this guy. Just take all the scrap metal I have. Seven of them. Yep. We get good experience for it, too. See, we just gotta level up. Um, I think I want to put more into repair right now. Because the more repair we have, the better our armor and stuff is going to be. Um, scoundrel, raise your speech and barter skills by five points. Uh, you gain one additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. Um, child at heart. I guess comprehension. In case I start finding... Um, skill books, which are like permanent stat increases. So we need to go study the Meyer Lurks. Um, it's at the Anchorage Memorial. Who are you? Good to see you. Is this just a hunter? It says. Okay. So we need to. I am crippled. Oh. Is it... I was going to say, why isn't it letting me jump? Um... Oh, it's this door, that's why. So we have to get to the basement, and we have to put the the thing in their nest without killing any of them which sucks because we just basically have to keep running through um, until we find where we need to go I can't really I don't see the place where I need to go yet um, so we're just kind of running around um, when there gets to be multiple of them it's hard to move around them so I'm not really going to be, like, looting anything, I don't think. Yeah, all the people here are dead. Yeah, having to stop to open doors, really, is not good. Just kind of, you know, kiting them around. Until we get to where we need to go. We need to just, like, find their nest. Which I think is, like, probably... No, this is that same room. How does it keep bringing me back to the same room? Alright, if I keep moving, I think I can get, like, farther away from them. Ooh. Almost got hit. Or maybe it's up? No. That's the way out. Ow. Saw that coming. Alright. No, we need to keep going down. Operations. Clinic. Is 
through here. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is where I need to go. And I just need to go all the way down to the bottom. Somehow. Oh, I gotta heal. And... That's good. Ouch. So that's... That's where I have to put it. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure, like... Uh, hide the observation device inside. Observer removed. Oh, God. Alright, there are tons of them. I just need to kite them around. Ouch. <coughs> go, go, go. Run, run, run. Get the heck out of here. Oh, come on. This object is activated from somewhere else. Great. Oh, wait a minute. What? So they're above me, but I think they're stuck up there. Here's a couple of them. What? God, this place is like a freaking loop. But I can't like fast travel anything out of here because... God, big one. Now, if I keep going up, will I find a way out? Oh, it's locked? And the terminal's too extensive for me to get, get it open. Oh, God, now here they're all coming. Okay. So how do I... Get the hell out of here. Here we go. Oh god, it's like really radioactive down here. Oh god, this isn't a way out. This is a way deeper. Come on. Can I shut him in? I think I can shut him in. I get to the other side and close the door. Yeah, because I don't think they can open that door. Man, I really need, like, healing stuff. Alright, so this is not the way. I need to get out of here. This is like the only way out of here. So maybe... Okay, so there's a door over here. I'm lost. I'm stuck. This looks better. Yes. Okay. No. This way. Yes. Here we go. This is the way out. Cool. And I didn't kill any Meyer Lurks.
and we're going to be pretty close to dead anyway, so maybe we'll be able to do the second one too. And it's still daytime, so she should be open. So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Yeah, it seems so. King or priest? Or some sort of scaly community center? Scaly community center? I slipped the observer in with the eggs, and they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. Mm -hmm. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. Woohoo! I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Okay. They're definitely vicious and highly territorial. Oh, that's unpleasant. But I guess it's no surprise. Mm -hmm. Practically everything out there can eat us. Mm -hmm. This bottom of the food chain thing really sucks. Yeah. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Okay. Here. Consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, she gave us a helmet. Of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Three stealth boys. Okay. And a shady hat. Okay. Okay, let's do that injury research to finish up this chapter. I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. <laughs> not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. Okay. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Okay. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Okay, I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come over here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. <laughs> when you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. Okay. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Okay. The info you're bringing back is great. Look. So I may actually go heal. Um, I don't know. Can I... If there's a place I can fall, just enough to get fall damage and not die. Because that can cripple me, right? Because if you jump off something high enough, you just, like, die midair. But, dang it, I missed. The jumping in this is not very smooth. They sure don't make it easy to jump off cliffs. You see, like, that's probably too high. But this might do it. Oh, no, dead. See, I need more health. See? Completed. Receive a... Oh. Oh, but I'm not crippled. But did I do it? Turn to Moira. Oh, no. So you, it's still the optional. So I know what I need to do to get crippled. Let's go in the clinic. I'm Doc Church, and I, if you do, but follow. All right, I'm hurt and I need help. All right, here's your money. What the? He's gonna patch me up. Oops. All better now. Okay. Now. See what I got here. I got a frag mine. 
what I can do is I can set it, right, and then blow it up. There we go. And that crippled my leg. So if I do, like, all of these, that should work, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where am I at now? Okay, return to Moira with your injuries. I am very crippled. I have very low health. Now she can fix me up. And then I finish the chapter. Then there's only one more chapter to do after that. Can I do for you, Daddy -o? Oh, well, who the heck are you? Well, hot damn. Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? Okay. I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. <coughs> Take me and okay. Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Catch you later. I don't really need anything from you. There's the mercenary. Moira. Well, how do you feel? Uh, this really hurts, you know. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Okay. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Um, the adrenaline helps, so does the fear of death. There's a lot of both. help when you're sewing up wounds and setting bones too yeah that seems like it'd be tough to do alone mm -hmm. luckily i'm here to patch you up now hold still and quit fidgeting <laughs> Ugh. how can you be walking around like this yeah okay i even stitched a little smiley face in you oh god spirits it's kind of hard to see from your side though okay here take this environment suit of mine it will help with medical tasks. Okay. It should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Okay. Two medexes. One environment suit. Okay. Is that all the research for the second chapter? Absolutely. <coughs> I'm glad to finish it up. I bet you're even happier, right? Yeah. Just one last chapter now, and it's much safer. I promise. Okay. Oh, and here's your payment. Two big boxes full of ammo. Okay. Think of it as insurance, in case the next chapter isn't as safe as I predict. Hmm. Okay. I'm ready to start researching the last chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole, and how to rebuild society. Okay. Deep stuff, huh? Sure. We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. Okay. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Okay. Um, researching local history sounds easy. Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. Okay. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. Okay. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. Okay. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Okay. Sounds reasonable. I'll research Rivet City's history. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Okay. Learn the history of Rivet City. That's that's just the okay. That's the quest. Um, let me see what you have for sale, because I think I have a bunch of stuff to sell too. Um, yeah, that environment suit. I'm not using that. 
frag grenades. I'll sell all those because I don't use those. I don't use drugs. I won't use the quantums. Psychos. Rad X I might keep around. Don't want the repellent stick. No, the shady hat. 12 and 2. Vodka and whiskey. Let's see what I can buy. Do you have, like, energy cells? Yes. She still owes me 212 caps. Alright. Cool. Let's see. I could take some stim packs. So I owe her 84 caps now. That's good. So I got a bunch more energy cells. Um, good hunting. And I got some stim packs. Can you repair my equipment? Um. Wow, her repair skill's worse than mine. Never mind. Alright, so now I have to go to Rivet City and learn all about them. So that'll be interesting. What's and I have to walk there, because I haven't discovered Rivet City. But let's see if I have anything... Well, I guess if I go to that, um, Georgetown North, then I can just follow my marker after that. That takes me most of the way, but we will get to Rivet City in the next one. So thanks everybody for watching and I will see you then.